first guest tonight is the quintessential multi-hyphenate and award-winning writer, producer, and star of Abbott Elementary. You can watch it Wednesday nights right here on ABC. Please welcome Quinta Brunson. <laughs> Working a lot? Are you? Uh... Oh yes, I just came from work yeah. to come here, as I usually do. Um, <laughs> yeah, working a lot, but you know, happy to be here. Happy I saw you at the Emmys, you which did. and congratulations, Thank by you. the way, on your yeah. Emmy victory. Did you? Last time you yes. had to work the next morning. Did you fix that this time? I learned my lesson. Good, good. Um, we had a day off the next day. Nice. And you need that because if you if you go to the Emmys, win or lose, you're going to go out and you probably will drink alcohol. So mm -hmm. we learned to give ourselves a little bit of recovery time, and it turned out I needed it. So I'm happy that we took the day off the next day. You had a big party. You had a lot of fun afterwards? I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Had a lot of legal fun afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you were uh, at the Emmys along with, we had like a party like for our yeah. network afterwards. Yes, yes. And the, the Always Sunny cast was there. And yeah. Mm -hmm. And they had not ever been there before. No, they haven't. They it's are crazy. your fellow Philadelphians. I know. It's crazy that they haven't. That show is incredible. It's, it, they did a bit talking about how they hadn't been nominated for an Emmy before. Yeah, they'd never been to Insane. the show. Insane. Yeah. Um, actually, after I won, they were some of the first people I saw was the It's Always Sunny crew. I'd never met them all as a unit before. Oh, you hadn't? Oh. I'd met a couple of, of them individually, but not like It's Always Sunny. And... I was, as people saw, very. I cried a lot. Yeah. Um, which I was, I was very emotional. So let's get my tears together, and I see them, and I'm like, oh my god, it's it's you guys. They're like, congratulations, we love you so much. The Eagles are down. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was kind of driving at because the yes. Eagles were playing while the Emmys were on. Yes. Every Philadelphian I came across were like, congrats, love you so much. We're, thank you for winning for the city because the Eagles lost. Yeah. <laughs> And, and is that um, why you cried during your speech? <laughs> no, I cried because of PMS, honestly. <laughs> I did, but no, it was an emotional. It was so much, so much comedy love. The what do you? The facts of life. The that theme song made me cry. Yeah, there were a lot of reunions going yeah, on. The yeah. Casa Martin was Casa there. Martin. That was fun. I got to see fun. those ladies on the red carpet. Um, Tashina. Arnold and Tisha Campbell Martin, and they made me cry on the red carpet. Did they really? Yeah, they were really. What sweet. did they say? Why did they make you cry? They were just pouring into me, Jimmy. In a nice way, yeah. I see. Are okay. you familiar? Like, you yes. know, they were just pouring into me, telling me all these nice black lady things. Oh. <laughs> you uh, and you were, and the, you were presented the award by Carol Burnett, which is. Uh, yes, that uh, made me cry. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I thought she was a hologram at first, and then she was real. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, though? When someone's so legendary, you just think they're a hologram? I and know. it was really her. I always wonder if they like being called legendary or whatever. Because, like, legendary is, in a way, it, yeah, it's like you don't. It's like you're some sort of you're griffin not, or something. Exactly, like that. exactly. Yeah. yeah, maybe we should stop with that. And <laughs> I've also noticed that the um, that celebrities from Philadelphia have a real, have a strong bond. Yes. Like, celebrities from Boston yeah. all hate each other and wish each other ill. You know that, right? Yes, 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 yes. I mean, at the heart, the black heart of it is Matt Damon, who is the worst. <laughs> and then there are others around him who yeah. all, they're all like, like, uh, yeah. oh, yeah, you're doing real good, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. But celebrities from Philadelphia, of which there are a lot. Yes. Maybe more than, like, obviously New York is the biggest, in the world, but maybe more than any place. I know, we have a weird amount of Philadelphia, or Philadelphia, because the other thing that we do is we embrace people who aren't from Philly but just do a good job for Philly. So Allen Iverson is from Philadelphia, to me. Right, I see, yeah, You know yeah, what I mean? Right, I don't I know where you. he's actually from. He's from <laughs> Philadelphia. But he's a sixer, and that's yeah, it, and yeah. That's it, yeah. You had some of the Eagles on the show tonight, right? I did. We had Jalen Hurts, Brandon Graham, <laughs> and Travis Kelsey, and, oh, no, wrong Kelsey, Jason right. Kelsey. Jason Kelsey, yeah. <laughs> Travis is the one with his shirt They're on. Happy. He's everywhere. No, yeah. we had Jason, and they were absolute sweethearts. Um, I was just honored that we were able to have them, and we didn't want to disrupt their schedule, so they were able to join us for a Zoom performance, uh -huh. which wound up being 
in my opinion, way funnier than it would have been if they were there. Because it was very true to life and true to our school. It's funny how that happens sometimes where you're like, like, oh, it has to be this way, it has to be this way. And then you're like, well, we have no other choice. You're like, oh, it turned out it was better that way. Yeah, it's called creativity. It, 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 it's fun. It's making the best of a difficult situation. Yeah. So, so you had, and then were you, when did you shoot that episode? Uh, we yeah. shot that. Um, I don't want to say because I don't want people to blame me for the reason I see. that the Eagles aren't <laughs> at the Super Bowl. I see. I wonder also if you're like, oh, that screws us up because we're hoping they'd be on Super Bowl week that we'd have them. Rain or shine, my set is still an Eagles set, though. So it doesn't matter. We, we didn't care if they made it to the Super Bowl or not. We love those guys. They're really good for the city. Will you now be rooting for Jason's brother, Travis, in the Super Bowl? Or are you holding, I mean, how will you root in the Super Bowl? Um, I'm going to root for my Super Bowl commercial that I'm in. Oh, you're gonna root for your Super Bowl commercial? Oh, you're in a Super Bowl commercial. Super Bowl commercial. Oh. Was that a really good segue? Did you know that? Um, what Super Bowl? I'm not Bowl? rooting Can for Can you another. say what it is or is it a big surprise? It's the TurboTax um, commercial. Oh. There's a surprise to it in addition to the TurboTax, so I'm not giving away, but um, it's TurboTax and I, I, I used to do my taxes with TurboTax. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> So I, I liked it. I like that they asked because I like to do things where I, I like, you know, I've used the thing. This is uh, incredible to me. This you posted this photograph. This is what Oprah sent you after you won the Emmy. <laughs> Absurd. Absurd. That's, now that's all the flowers, like in the world. Yes. That is, and you're not a giant person, but that's a giant, <laughs> giant bouquet. Do you think she would have sent this had you not won? Do you think you would have got a much smaller bouquet? I think I would have got a smaller bouquet. I yeah. think, yeah, it would have been a regular size bouquet. Like, congrats on your nomination. Um, did this, like, it, now, did this make everything everyone else sent you feel like almost nothing? No. No, I think you should, um, you should, you should uh, judge your flowers by the amount in someone's bank account. So oh, I see. Appropriate for over. But for my friends, who, who, you know, who, who are just teachers who sent me a bouquet. I appreciate that bouquet. More than Oprah's bouquet, yes? Why do we have to do a more well, I don't... <laughs> Just as much, just as much. But this was really nice because, it, as you can see, it got de delivered to um, my set, and I couldn't take that home. Um, yeah, no. I don't... How did it even get drunk. delivered to your set? You, you don't get to know that part. It <laughs> really? It showed up. <laughs> but I gave everybody in my crew and cast got to take flowers home. I so see. it was nice, and everybody got flowers from Oprah. Everybody got a piece <laughs> of flowers from yeah, Oprah. Yeah. You know what I think, and this is, I don't know, maybe just, uh, when I think when I see a photograph like this, oh, I've never seen a photograph like this, I think, <laughs> what does Stedman have to get Oprah for Valentine's Day now? <laughs> like, if this is Oprah's idea of a reasonable gift, like, can he get away with just a dozen flowers? I think it's things we can't even imagine. Like, maybe he just gives her, like, quiet. Like, peace and quiet. <laughs> I can imagine that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think if I gave my wife peace and quiet for Valentine's Day, <laughs> there would be a lot of peace and quiet. <laughs> it would be very, very quiet. Uh, what, have you been to the Super Bowl yourself? I went to the Super Bowl last year when the Eagles went, um, and it was really fun. I heard Usher, who's doing the halftime, sh halftime show, was your first ever concert. He was. My sister took me to an Usher concert oh. when I was younger. Uh, her and I are very close, even though she's 13 years older than me. Um, and she, she took me. That was my first concert. And um, I don't know. It gave me an appreciation for Usher at a very young age. How old were you when I you think were... I was 13 or 14. 13 or 14, yeah. that's, yeah, I mean, I think it's probably old enough to appreciate Usher, not all of the Usher, but like, <laughs> most of the Usher stuff. <laughs> I think I appreciated all of you. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Quinta Brunson is here, <laughs> Abbott Elementary, Wednesday nights here on ABC, we'll be right back. We are back with Quinta Brunson, Abbott Elementary is her uh, show, you can watch it Wednesday nights here on ABC. Last time you were here, you were just about to start writing the season, and then the writer's strike happened, like, what, the next day? Yes, And yeah. so you had to stop right away. We, well, we didn't even get to start. The writer's strike happened on May 1st, which was our first day of, of writing, so we didn't even enter the room. And how did that affect the rest of the season? Did you have to jam everything into a shorter period of time, or did you do less episodes, or what? We're doing less episodes. We're doing 14. 
I'm not mad at it right now because uh -huh. I, 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 I was 22 is a lot, and um, but it's fun. Everybody has fun, right? But That's you know, a lot. it's a lot. 14 has been great, and then um, we kind of made some adjustments to the season because Abbott is a show where we try to go by the school calendar. You know, we we start in September along with teachers, and we like to stick to that calendar. So this year we had to make some adjustments. So we got creative to. As so to say, you know, so as to say why we were starting in February instead of September. That is fun that you start, yeah. it's like it's you start along with school. Yeah. That is a fun idea. And the idea also that you make 22 episodes, like no one does that anymore. Nowadays, you must look at all these other shows and you know, they're making like eight episodes, six episodes, ten episodes. Yeah. And you must go, Phew. <laughs> not that's I just get I, I look at it with like MB. I'm like, that must be nice to make eight episodes. Of yeah. TV. That's cool. Um, I heard you have a uh, like a big surprise guest uh, whose name you can't share with us on the season this year. Is that true? Who did you hear that from? Hmm? Who who'd you hear that from? I have my sources, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know who you think you know it is. Is it Vice Principal Beyonce? No. <laughs> no. No. Is it um, You're not vice principal? <laughs> I don't know. Is it Dean Morgan Freeman or something no. like that? I, I have no idea who it is. What kind of budget do you think we have? No, no, no. Honestly, because I'm afraid you'll guess it, so I want you. Oh, to stop. are you really? Yeah. Um, is it a Philadelphia celebrity? I'm not saying. Is it I'm Bradley? Not, I'm Cooper? not saying anything to you right now. I know, but <laughs> if I say it, then you. we can go back next time you're here and look at your face and see what it looks like <laughs> when you're lying. <laughs> anything to you. <laughs> there are some really fantastic, fun, big guest stars that I can't believe are on our show, but they are. Like, I'm like, what? Uh, we filmed with one of them today, actually. I'm really excited. Are these people who reached out to you or are these people you reached out to? There is a mix of that. Uh -huh. There's been a mix of that. Um, I don't want to say a, a lot. No, you don't have to say it. <laughs> I think this is a good sign. Your billboards are getting even bigger. This is uh... a... <laughs> This is in uh, New York. <laughs> Who took the picture? My makeup artist, Jessica, she insisted we drive to this because I was in New York for about four days and I hadn't been able to see this, even though it's big as hell. And <laughs> so we drove, our driver was so kind, he was willing to pull over, let us get out of the car and take this picture in the middle of the street. Very dangerous, but it was sweet. But Did was... anyone notice you taking yes, the picture? Yes, which I didn't expect because I don't think I look like myself here. So as soon as I got out of the car, a girl was like, I love your show, I love your show. <laughs> and another girl in the street, she was just filming the whole thing and helping to stop traffic. She became a crossing guard, <laughs> which was really sweet. So that was Yeah, because you could get hit by a cab real easy in that very situation. Very easy, very easy. You, um, Daniel Radcliffe said that um, he thought it would be a good idea to do a romantic comedy with <laughs> you because he said you guys were the same height. <laughs> right? He's he said we're a good height match. A good height match. He said we're a good height match, which we are. So it's it's true. Daniel is is I don't want to talk about his height, but we are both <laughs> we are both short people, and I think on screen we would look the equivalent of like a six five man <laughs> and a five nine woman, where people are like, oh my god. So if you put us next to each other, it looks good. I actually messaged him after he said that on the carpet because I saw him. Um, you know, Daniel and I are like huge friends. He's wonderful. And I was like, oh man, look at this, this is crazy. He was like, I'm so sorry, Quinta. I didn't mean to say that. I'm so sorry to talk about our height. I'm sorry to say we're height men. I was like, it's okay, it was totally, it was totally true and, and right. And it's maybe... not like the secret's out. <laughs> I didn't want anyone to know this. I think a lot of people discovered our height from, his, from that comment. Oh, interesting. People seem to think I'm taller than I am, which I am, so. <laughs> So. Uh, so I don't know if you're aware of this, but then uh, your fans went online and started writing ideas for your romantic comedy. Yes, my baby cousin, show, she showed me this. There's a yes. few that I like. Uh, one is a romanticy, which is a romantic fantasy. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> where Quinta and Daniel are academics doing research at an old jail. When, <laughs> in when an they, old jail? In an old jail, when they touch a stone that transports them back in time. Oh, I would watch that. That was pretty good. <laughs>
That was good. Quinta and Daniel are PhD students at Edinburgh University who hate each other, but after being forced to work on a research project, the city girl and the country boy fall for one another. Classic. <laughs> Classic. One more. Oh, can it be a Hallmark movie? Oh, sorry. I, I, was, okay. I bet Hallmark would be thrilled. You got to try to work Christmas in there. That's true. They, yeah, okay. okay, I'm going to work Christmas into this one. Yeah. It's Christmas. Oh. <laughs> Childhood friends are separated when Quinta's dad gets rich from a toy invention that takes them into a new city. <laughs> Years later, they run into each other at the airport. Toy invention? Yeah, that's the whole idea. Um, <laughs> but finally, a romantic comedy at, set in an airport. You never see that. <laughs> I have some notes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think, you know, I think these are just thought starters, oh, okay. and you guys okay, run yeah. with them however you may, may see fit. Those are pretty good. Good job. Yeah. Uh, internet, those are not bad. I'd watch that. Yeah. yeah. Well, and they waited till the writer's strike was over to get those together. So, well, it's very good to see you. Congratulations so nice on to everything. Be here. I know you're probably going right back to work, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Quinta Brunson, everybody. <laughs> she works hard on the show. Abbott Elementary, Wednesday nights, 9 o'clock here on ABC. We'll be back.